Hi, welcome to the demo of configuring replication in Dell Object Scale Storage. My name is Anuraj. I am an engineering technologist with Dell. Dell Object Scale Storage is an enterprise object storage built to run natively on a Kubernetes cluster. In the object scale system, the replication is configured bucket to bucket by defining the replication rules on the source bucket. And the object scale support replicating from one source bucket to multiple destination buckets. And the destination buckets can be in the same object scale system or it can be in a different uh, object scale system. Also, the object scale support configuring a bidirectional replication or a unidirectional replication. So, in this demo, we are going to configure the replication across two different object scale system and also will enable the bidirectional replication. Before configuring the replication across two different object scale system, we will configure the federation of the two different uh, object scale systems. So federation is the process by which we establish trust between these two object scale systems so that the IAM entities can automatically be replicated across two different object scale systems. So uh, the IAM is actually a global concept in the object scale where there will be one IAM account which is shared across multiple object scale systems. So for this demo, I created two different object scale system, object scale 01 and object scale 02. And these object scales are running on a Red Hat OpenShift cluster. And also completed the creation of the object store inside each object scale system. So let's go ahead and configure the federation between these two object scale systems. In order to configure the federation, we need to decide uh, one object scale as the primary and all other object scale systems as the secondary. So here in this demo, I'll designate the object scale system object scale 01 as my primary and the object scale 02 as my secondary. In the object scale 01 console, go to the object scale systems. Now we can see the object scale system here and by default, the type of the object scale system will be not federated. Click create federation and this will make the object scale system as primary and we can see the type will be changed from not federated to primary. Now go to the secondary object scale system, join federation. Now you'll get a federation signing request file, save this file and go to the primary object scale system, click on new remote instance and upload this federation signing request. Now we will get a signed post federation request file and save this file also. And now the secondary object scale system is added as a remote in the primary system. Now go to the secondary object scale system, click on new remote instance and upload the signed federation request file. This will add the primary object scale system as a remote into the secondary object scale system. Next we can initiate the trust. Select the remote instance, initiate trust. This will change the status to trust initiated. Now go to the other object scale system and do the same thing here also. So now we should have a bidirectional trust established and we can see the status change to trusted and the connectivity status is online. Next we can create a account, new account, give an account name, then save. Now we can add this account to the object store. Select the object store, accounts, add and select the account just created. Now this account will be replicated automatically to the object scale 02 also. Now we can go to the accounts and we can see the account here. We can add the object store to the same account. So now both the object stores in two different systems are added to the same IAM account. Now go to the primary object scale and we can add the role to the IAM account. This role is required for replicating the objects. So now we allow and add the service principle which is the replication service account. Now we will give the replication full access permissions. And now this role will be available in the secondary object scale also. So we can see the role in the secondary object scale. Now we can go to the primary object scale 
and create a S3 user. New user. Give a name for the user. And we'll allow the S3 full access permission. And we can see the user is replicated to the secondary object scale also. Next, we can create the S3 bucket in the primary object store. Go to the object store, buckets, new bucket, give a name for the bucket and enable the versioning. Versioning is required for the object scale replication. Next, we'll create the bucket in the secondary object scale. Go to object store, buckets, new bucket. Here also we will enable the versioning. Next we can configure the bucket replication rule. Go to the bucket, replication and new replication rule. Give a name for the replication rule. And we can replicate either the entire bucket or select the object using prefix. Here we will select the entire bucket. And select the destination bucket in a remote object scale instance and select the instance and the namespace and give the destination bucket name also provide the role which we created which give the replication the permission to read and write the objects as we are enabling the bi-direction replication we need to configure the replication rule in the secondary object scale bucket also so here also we'll configure the replication rule which will replicate the entire bucket to the remote object scale instance select the object scale instance namespace and the object store also provide the bucket name and the select the role now we can test the bucket replication using the s3 browser we'll configure the accounts here so this is the primary object scale instance next we can configure the secondary object scale instance Next, we can upload some files to the bucket in the primary object scale. So click on upload and select a file. Now the file is uploading and we can see the file uploaded successfully. And select the file in the HTTP header. We can see the replication status is pending and it will take some time so now we can see the replication is completed we can go to the bucket in the secondary object scale and we can see the same file there so this file is replicated successfully and the status is showing as the replica over there and we can upload a file into the bucket in the secondary object scale select a file here also we can see it got uploaded successfully and in the HTTP header replication status is pending so we'll reload it now we can see the replication is completed we can go to the bucket in the primary object scale here we can see both the files are available so this concludes this demo thank you for watching